What is up guys, Photo Fever here and welcome to this spooky episode of Two Minute Tutorials. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can create this eerie green colour grading effect really easily using just one simple adjustment layer in Photoshop. And I'm going to start right now. Right guys, so the first thing you want to do is just go ahead and choose a photo that you'd like to add this eerie green effect to. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this photo which I got off of unsplash.com and you're more than welcome to follow along with the link in the description. So what we want to do is to add this eerie green look but we don't want to completely remove all other colours from the photo. So we can do this by adding just one simple adjustment layer. So I'm going to go down to the bottom right hand corner guys, choose our adjustment layers icon and then what we want to do is go ahead and choose colour balance. Now in our colour balance, it's split into three different colour bands. You've got cyan reds, magentas greens and yellow and blues. And we want to predominantly affect the middle one, the magenta and green slider. So we want to go to our tone section just at the top here, select the mid-tones, I'm going to go ahead and select highlight first. I'm going to go ahead and add in a small amount of green. And what we can do is also add in a small amount of red as well. I find that makes the photo just a little bit more punchy in the end result. Next, what we want to do is go to mid-tones. We want to basically do the same thing again. So we want to go ahead and add some more green. Again, the further slider you slide it to the right, the more green will be added to the mid-tones. And what we can do in this particular case, I'm going to add in a small amount of yellow to it as well. Sometimes that can aid in the adding of green. And then lastly, we're going to go ahead and use the shadows. And again, we're going to do exactly the same. We're going to go ahead and add in a lovely amount of green. But again, not too much just a subtle amount so it doesn't wash the other colours out in the photo. And again, I'm going to add in a small amount of yellow and just, I think in this particular case, I'm going to add in a small amount of red as well. So I'm going to probably increase this to around 20 in this particular case. So as you see, it creates this really cool eerie green, uh, green effect and it makes it look like the Joker movie. And I must say, I really, really like this effect for Halloween style photos. Here is the before and here is the after. There we go, guys.